Hello, doers. My name is Jose Ignacio. And let's talk about the most important part of any company, customer support. A happy customer is a loyal customer, right? And an unhappy customer, well, you get the idea. Now, in the past, I only had a few people handling customer support issues. But now, because my customer base has grown rapidly, I need an organized customer support team to efficiently address any of their concerns because we're suffering from success. Now, with the help desk app, I can easily create a customer support team and assign tickets to my team members. I can also even view all of my tickets and keep track of their progress inside of the help desk app just to ensure that no question goes unanswered. A strong customer support team allows us to receive valuable feedback on products. It increases sales and it retains customers and we really love customers. So enough chit chat, let's dive into my Odoo database to see how to set up my help desk team. The first page that we land on in the help desk app is the overview dashboard. Now here we can see some quick info on stuff like the tickets assigned to me under the My Tickets section, as well as my customer satisfaction rating and ticket success rate over here on the right hand side under the My Performance section. Now underneath that we can also see the help desk teams. I already have a general team set up over here called Customer Care, but I can create multiple help desk teams like I have with my VIP support over here for my special customers. Now I can also click on the tickets button on each of these cards and I can see all of the tickets for that team. In our case, let's go over here to the customer care team. Now, once that I clicked inside of a help desk team, Odoo takes me to the team's ticket pipeline. Now here, I can keep track of all of my support tickets and their progress. Inside of the Kanban view, each ticket exists as a card that I can actually drag and drop through different stages if I wanted to just by moving it around. It's kind of fun. I can also drag and drop the entire stages if I wanted to just because reasons. And if I wanted to over here, I have the option to select to add a new stage inside of this pipeline. And then pressing escape also discards that right away. And if we click on the gear icon next to any of these stages over here, we have a new menu that pops up. Now in this menu, I can fold the stage. Now what does that mean? It hides the tickets in the column. I can also delete the stage. Or I can archive everything, unarchive everything, as well as even editing it directly. And when I hit edit, I can configure some advanced settings that I'm going to talk about immediately. So here we can actually change the name and the description as well if we wanted to down here because it helps our coworkers figure out stuff. But if I wanted to, I can also do a few more options because I want to talk about the fact that there's a folded in Kanban option over here. If this box is checked, the stage will automatically display as folded or collapsed in the pipeline. Any ticket that is moved to a folded stage is considered closed. You know, since this is the first stage in the pipeline, I actually don't want to activate this setting. But below it, I noticed some colorful little pills over here. It's the help desk teams. And inside of here, I can select multiple teams just by starting to type in their name. Now, what does that do? Well, if I do it this way, I don't have to recreate the team and the stage of settings for each new team. I can just add any team I want to this stage. And that is actually incredibly useful because you'll notice I have my VIP support team as well. Now, moving on, we have over here our email template field. Now, Odoo also allows you to communicate with your customers by automatically sending emails or SMS messages, as you see right below it. You know, once a ticket has reached a certain stage. In our case, I want to select a very specific one here. And that is, since this is the new stage, that your ticket's been received. Now, if you want, you can also edit the actual template by selecting the little internal link there. And it'll pop up over here and show you everything. Now, Odoo has several preloaded templates that we can edit. I can actually change the body of the email. I could change everything that I wanted to if I wanted to add attachments, you know, if necessary. I could also use dynamic placeholder generators, as you could tell, when it ends up filling in something like a name. And that pools field saved on the ticket to autofill information, like a customer's name, email, other further things that you might want to display for some reason. Maybe, maybe their favorite fun fact. But I think this looks good as is, so I'm going to actually discard any changes from here so we can return over here. All right, now let's check out the SMS template over here. I actually need one. In my case, I want to create one that basically says request. We're going to hit create and edit in this case. Now here, I can enter a text message into the body, and I can even add emojis. The window will track how many characters I use and if it will take up more than one message. In our case, I think we should let a customer know their ticket has been received and that we're going to get back to them shortly. I'm going to add an emoji as well. So in our case, we're going to type in, we have received your ticket. See you soon. And then using the little emoji option on the bottom right, I think I'm going to give him a nice little heart one. Make him feel real special. And once I'm happy with the message, I can actually click save and close over here. 
And would you look at that, we're all done. And I wanna make a quick note that you will need in-app purchase tokens to use the SMS feature. Now, in our case, I think it's time for us, we've been doing a whole lot of stuff, to go create a new help desk team. So I'll see you right there. In order to add a new help desk team, all I actually have to do is go up to the top in configuration and select help desk teams. Inside of here, I'm given a list view of all of the currently existing help desk teams. And to make a new one, I just select the big old new button up in the top left. Now here we are in the help desk team form where I can configure the settings for my new team. Of course, we have fields for a name and a description and ours is gonna be field service. Why? Because this is the team for on-site intervention for any customer's needs. In the first section, I can actually set my team visibility and assignment methods. Now here with the visibility section, we have a few options. And in it, we can actually control who the help desk team is visible to inside of the database. We can choose either invite and internal users, all internal users, or invited portal users and all internal users. Now right next to it, you'll notice over here we have follow all teams tickets as an option. And what does that do? Well, this field allows us to assign users as followers for all tickets assigned to this team. This can be especially helpful for a VIP or high priority team. But in our case, since I am designing this team for a high volume workload, I'm not gonna select anyone because that would be kind of a bad idea. Below, we have the automatic assignment option where we can actually enable automatic ticket assignment for new tickets. With this option, as soon as a ticket comes in, it's gonna be assigned to a user. And this is a great way because it can ensure that your team's workload is evenly distributed. So let's enable that. And would you look at that, Odoo Magic. We'll see that we have two more options for how to distribute the workload. Either each user is assigned an equal number of tickets or each user has an equal number of open tickets. And that is a very distinct distinction right there. In my case, I'm just going to leave it as is, and don't forget to add all members of this team inside of the field below. I'm already listed right there, but I think I want to add a friend. I'm going to call in support from Ariel because I need help. Now, with all of that said, I can actually start solving tickets. Now, you'll notice on this page, I also have a smart button up at the top of the form, which, if I can click into, it takes me over to the team's ticket pipeline. As you can tell, there's a lot more other advanced options on this page, but you can check out our other tutorials and user documentation to learn more about those. I can always also go back and edit my team settings at any time. But now when I go over to the overview, would you look at that? Ah, voila. I can see my new field service team right there. All in all, Odoo Help Desk is a powerful tool for boosting customer satisfaction. We saw today how easy it is to set up a help desk team and create stages in the ticket pipeline. Please stick around for more videos about help desk. Thank you for watching. And remember, oh doers, go grab a snack. <laughs>